I made this. Signing his life away. What do you think of the Americans so far from what you've seen? You not good, not good no. to be honest. We would ladder this. I forgot where we are. Oh. Starts with an S. Starts with an S. Shipfield. Is that it? Shipfield. 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 <laughs> really cool town though. Really cool city. I don't know what you guys call them. Doing a hotel. Like I had no, that. Thank you for that surprise, Lee. I had no idea we were gonna do something like that. Um, and just actually doing a whole job um, of a huge building. I've never had that kind of experience, nor did I ever expect to. Safety. safety. They wouldn't first. let him carry this UK stuff down on that ladder? All about safety. Safety first. You can slip and fall. Yeah, but I carried Wait. it up the ladder. Lee almost slipped and fell. Yeah, remember when Lee slipped and fell? Disgusting. Lee slipped and fell with nothing in his hands. He was walking. And Lee. <laughs> He's like, my hurts so bad. It really hurt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It does hurt when you. She hurt. Bet. Look at that you cotton ball. What? That one. <laughs> That's a cock and ball. <laughs> what is that? It's a tow bar. That's what your tow bars look like? Yeah, what do yours it look looks like? It looks like a wiener. <laughs> <It's> Our... <laughs> she looks for one. Ours are really big, thick, draw pitch, and a big ball. That's how our wieners look too. They don't look like that. <laughs> I mean, that's what America... <laughs> this must be a British wiener. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. That's a British yeah. cock and ball. That's a British oh, cock no. and ball. <laughs> The American cock and balls. Here, come here, I'll show you. bigger. Yeah, come here, I'll show you. Come here. I don't want to zoom out. Step back. Yeah, oh, step, back. step back. You gotta step back. Are you the supervisor? One that supervises. One that supervises. Okay. Let's go and find the lads. Where are they? Do Just around the corner. What music are you listening to? MJ. MJ. Wait, have you got any cones inside there? Oh, yeah. In there. Yeah, Michael Jackson, eh? Ask him to bust you some moves, aren't they? Got some moves, this kid here. He's a big one. Can you do uh, Michael Jackson moves? I think grabbing nuts, that's about it. <laughs> So John, do you do most of the high work then? I do most of the water fed to be fair. Yeah. He does a lot of water fed when he's washing Van Dyne. That's what he's meant to have said. <laughs> he's so bollocks you. He's really good at sitting down, he's a professional. Come on, let it go. Yeah. That's it. Sit there. To get to the top? Yeah. 
Pretty efficient. Put, putting the pole together. Oh yeah. Teamwork. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. It's impressive that it, that little pump over there can push that. 100 psi pump in that tank. Yeah. Well, no trolley. That's impressive. And how many liters? 45 liters? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. It's a pretty convenient device to have, definitely. Especially for tight areas like this where you can't get a vehicle in here. So you purchase something that expensive, it's going to be good for a few years. We've had this one for nearly 10 years. Oh, are you kidding? No. And, yeah, and where years. do you order these from? They have one in the States. They have one in the UK. Where else do they have a gardener? Worldwide. Yeah, it's just worldwide, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Even oh. Russia, even see, Russia. See, we don't see many no, water-fed pole you know, guys like in the US. Pole. I mean, I'm sure there's some, but definitely <laughs> not like yeah, that's what in Tahoe. Like. That's exactly yeah. what would happen. Not in, in the, your area, anyway. No, not my area. And then not really in the Bay that much <laughs> either, because my brother <laughs> is in yeah, like San Francisco. Yeah. yeah. And we, we repel everything. Like we would repel this building. Yeah, most of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like up there where they, you guys couldn't get the one window up there. Yeah, they got it from this roof here. <laughs> oh, they got it from the roof? From the corner of the oh, roof, Oh, yeah. because so I just asked below. him and he said, no, they got the one below it. This chap used to do Balsam's chair work. I've yeah. Done, I've done Craig work, Balsam's chair. Okay, so because like in California, anything over 100 feet, you have to use the cradle. Nevada, you can repel anything. Really? With the chair. Yeah, so that's why I was wondering here. So different states have different. Yes, rules. so is it that way here? Yeah. Is it, is it what, sorry? Is it that way here? No. So why would anyone use one of those cradles? They're a pain in the ass. Yes, I know, and they go faulty and they go wrong and, and they're quirky. they're so slow. Like, you get it all built, you like, press the button, like it's going to be fast, you know, and it's like. <laughs> It's horrible, right? Yes, it is. Um, it depends on the building. If it's got a cradle or the arms for a cradle that's been tested, been insured, and you've been trained on it, you can use it. But, but, but you've still got to be competent. But it's so slow. Yes, compared. It is. I don't. It's very, very slow. See, that's the only reason why in California we have to do it is because it's the law. Yeah. Nevada, well, we would never use one ever. I think you'll find a lot of companies now would rather just abseil use cradle because it's quicker yeah. it's safer they're using their own rigging their own equipment they know where the equipment's been exactly yeah put your brush on the brick on the surface no where is that the brush the brush yeah 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 on the actual wall rather than the glass yeah yeah because you're transferring any grit and debris uh, onto the I glass scratch the scratch. glass yeah okay hey you naughty boy oh, <laughs> <laughs> See that? Look, that's how you fix that. It's a little technique for you fellas. I could tap it now. Tapping it out. <laughs> and your training methods are messed up. You didn't train okay. the new guys not to do that? You would hate you let me have the pole? Okay. It's common sense. It's your fault. Common sense. Common sense. It's common sense. Common sense for your water toys? <laughs> yeah. water for your water I like, I like it. <laughs> See, what they were saying is they don't use other people's spigot because the, their water is metered. Our water's huh? not metered like a, in Tahoe. A hose bib. Yeah, Where you, you stick a hose, a hose in? Tap. Faucet. Faucet. Ta yeah, yeah, outside faucet. All right. It's a soft rubber. And it just seems to last. We're going to see what Carrie can do with a Harris pole. It has a trad pole. Okay. All right. Jay, as a residential window cleaner, before he came to us, never picked a pole up in his life and did trad pole, so interesting.
got there? Got where? What have you got here? Two Irish balls. What are you going to do? I'm hopefully going to try and clean these front like windows. <laughs> <laughs> have you got the bucket? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll come with me then. Let's see what you like yeah, on the Irish ball. But then you want to do the front doors with yeah, those? Do that. Okay, I'll grab the bucket. So where's Carrie gonna do this work? Is she yeah, she's apparently gonna come and do these bottoms, like. Is that to the front or? Yeah. So you're gonna be doing the front of this yeah, hotel? Yeah. Yeah, except oh, I forgot to grab a scrim. Grab Who's got some scrim? Can I get some? Jay, Matt. Can Jay, you got scrim? a scrim. Rise up this morning. Where are you going? I'm gonna fill this up. Yeah, but where are you going? I've got from out of sight. From? Yeah. I'll leave it here then. Can't believe he's actually doing some work. Makes her eight change. He only does it when boss man's here, do This will be in the Sheffield News. <laughs> no, buddy. Yeah. So, um, do you think the Americans, Josh, Corey, Jamie and Carrie are learning quite a bit about how you guys do it here? Yeah, I think they are. I mean, you gave them a taste in London of what's uh, available. Thank you. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we've got the full gist of it there in terms of <clears throat> what's required for high level cleaning. I, think, I don't know how long you were there, but I think that, yeah, now they've spent a bit of a day with us, they've got a bit more of a view. Mm. I think that that's, uh, that may have changed perception a little bit. Mm. Instead of just saying, it's shit, goodbye. Yeah. I think uh, they may use it a little bit more. Yeah. Especially if they're going to do a bit more commercial work. Yeah. That'll be interesting. I'll scrub and you. Yeah, you yeah. Can do, yeah. You got the easy job. Well, I'm not very good with poles. Because I only use them every once in a while. So I'll let him do the hard part. <laughs> do you prefer water fed pole or uh, squeegee? Squeegee. Better quality, better finish. The water fed balls are ideal obviously for windows, but you can't reach. Yeah. Did you get this one? Yeah, yeah, you can do that one on the side, yeah. Can't keep up with him. <laughs> it's fast. Worked right alongside Jay for the for most of the time I worked, and we were doing pole work on the, along that front um, the front part of this hotel. And he was like the most impressive uh, guy with the pole and squeegee that I've ever seen. And he worked so fast; I was totally amazed by that. He was cool. Who's the best squeegee guy? Not me. It depends what kind of windows you're doing. Why? Because if we work in hospital, there's some awkward windows what you have a pole and they always make me do them. Because I make less of a mess. But it's you're lying, on a general basis, lying, well, that's Jay's best. If he's making up a line, You're the best, Jay. Yeah, apparently so, yeah. How's, How's Carrie doing? She's doing, she's doing fine, she's doing good.
Okay. Look at this stupid thing. <laughs> Just playing. Killing it. He's killing it. Oh yeah. Corey, you know the waterfed pole? Uh, do you feel that you've learned more about working the waterfed pole at height than, say, in London? I know it was only brief in London. Right, right. Has yeah, it given I you a deeper understanding? Absolutely. I uh, learned a lot. They're very knowledgeable in what they're doing. So it's kind of cool to see somebody that's good at something that I'm not good at. So I can be good at it eventually. I don't know, the way the crew seems to work is how we would work. They're all... Well oiled. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're well oiled, basically. Got some young blood, so it's, it's a backbone. <laughs> it's a backbone. It is. Were they any help today? Yeah, yeah, especially Carrie. Carrie, yeah. Yeah, as soon as she gets on that track gear, that's it, she's off. Um, yeah, I think they were. I think they've learned a bit. I don't think it'll change the perception altogether, but... It's a start. Yeah. You may have put that seed there. I might have, yes. Okay. It's not a competition between, you know, who's better, US window cleaners or UK window cleaners. The fact is, is that we're two totally different countries with different structures, different cultures, different expectations, different incomes. Um, and so I think it's more, more than like, I'm better than you. It was more like, we're learning from each other. This is an experience where we get to actually work with other people in a different country and see um, what makes them different and um, how they adapt to their environment and to their um, circumstances. And so it's kind of about what, how do we work with what we have in our countries. And I want to continue to travel and compare notes and hang out with other window cleaners. So that's kind of what I took away with it was I want to do this again. It's only 12. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye!